Chocolate is a product from the fruit of the cocoa tree, made from the seeds of this tree, which has an astringent and quite bitter taste. Chocolate is a rich, delicious, and versatile product. The two most popular types are dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Chocolate comes from cocoa beans. Ancient civilizations in Mexico, Central America, and South America grew cacao to make the beverage. But it wasn't until 1847 that a company invented solid chocolate. This is a food made by mixing sugar with two products from cocoa beans, cocoa mass and cocoa butter. Chocolate is the most popular and consumed candy in the world in many different forms and preparations. Chocolate bars are one of the foods favored by both adults and children and are one of the most delicious treats we know. Initially, chocolate was a beverage. The Mayans and Aztecs considered chocolate as a gift from their gods and also used it as money to exchange goods. Christopher Columbus was the first European to taste chocolate. The cocoa tree grows only in the tropics. Therefore, the source of raw materials for chocolate comes from countries located in these regions of the planet, which are characterized by a warm and humid climate, favorable for plant growth. Dark chocolate is a type of chocolate with a higher cocoa butter content and less milk. In fact, dark chocolate can be made without milk, so it is perfect for people who cannot consume dairy products. The world consumes about 36 million tons of cocoa each year, with an average annual growth rate of 2.1%, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. In cocoa production, Brazil, Colombia, and Ecuador are prominent countries, not only for growing the tree, but also for processing cocoa. Before becoming chocolate bars, cocoa powder, or coatings for the most delicious desserts, cocoa must go through a very long process and requires dozens of hands to cultivate. Although cocoa trees grow quickly, it takes four to five years to produce the first fruit. Therefore, producers spend a lot of time taking care of their crops without receiving any immediate benefits. Cocoa trees only grow well in hot, humid lands thousands of kilometers from the equator. At cocoa plantations in Malaysia, they grow more than 100 hectares of cocoa each year. First, they must plant trees. The small seeds are sown into bags filled with moist soil. After a few days, the seeds begin to germinate, and after four weeks, the plants reach a height of 30 centimeters, but still have to wait another three years for them to become mature plants and begin to bear fruit. After waiting so long, the last thing they wanted was a nasty insect to ruin this precious fruit. Therefore, each bead is protected by plastic. Harvesting is a challenge. They do not fall from the tree, but must be cut. Under the sun with temperatures of more than 35 degrees, 
This work requires double effort to harvest 1,500 cocoa beans per day. After gathering, the cocoa beans are transported to other facilities of the plantation for processing. Seeds are also removed by hand. These seeds were once used as currency and could be used to buy a tomato or a squash. To achieve flavor, the beans are aged in barrels for six days. This process reduces bitterness and begins to release the essential aromas of cocoa. fermentation process of cocoa gives the first aroma and flavor of chocolate. After proper fermentation, the beans are dried and separated, and only the best quality beans are sent for final processing. The seeds are dried in the sun so that the shell dries and falls off. Now, the black cocoa beans are ready to become chocolate, but first they must go through a processing factory. Each year, 65,000 tons of cocoa are distributed from Malaysia, Indonesia, and Africa. Millions of these 65 kilograms bags of cocoa are classified and stored in this large warehouse. This factory produces chocolate in many forms and sells it to companies that manufacture different products. They also offer other chocolate derivatives such as cocoa powder or cocoa butter. Most beans come here from West Africa, where 70% of all cocoa is grown. A conveyor belt moves the particles through a cleaning system of filter plates to remove twigs, rocks, and other impurities. Next stop is the grinder, a rotating drum that heats cocoa beans to remove the shell. Next, the seeds are put into a machine called a peeler, which separates the shells from the seeds. Inside, the seeds are pulled through filters that separate large shell pieces then a vacuum cleaner sucks up all the remaining small pieces. When the shell is removed, the inside of the seed called the nib is exposed. The factory roasts the beans to enhance the flavor. More than 50% of the bean is fat. This is the cocoa butter. factory also produces chocolate bars weighing 4.5 kilograms. A machine fills plastic molds into the shape of chocolate bars. The conveyor belt then transfers them to a lifting system that takes them into a cold room for about two hours. This constant movement ensures air circulation, which helps the cooling process. When cooling, the chocolate shrinks a little, so the bars easily leave the mold. To give the chocolate an attractive appearance and good taste, the factory cools and then warms the chocolate before pouring it into molds. This process, called tempering, stimulates the growth of the most stable cocoa butter crystals and creates a smooth, shiny, and attractive appearance for the chocolate. In this way, the factory produces millions of chocolate bars so that everyone has the opportunity to enjoy its wonderful taste and distributes them by trucks to supermarkets around the world. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit like if you like this content. You can also buy a chocolate bar via the link in the description.